Hello guys and welcome to Motorsport Manager. Hope you guys are well. We are back for an episode. You guys absolutely just left so many comments, so many likes on the last episode saying, Scott, we want more episodes. It didn't do very well in terms of views, but in terms of likes and comments, like you guys absolutely smashed it. So we're going to play some more. And of course, you guys know I like the game a lot. So of course, I'm going to spend the time on it. So we're going to build some parts. Um, we're about four weeks away from unlocking the rear wings. It will come soon. Uh, what's the weaknesses? I would say brakes. Yep, brakes and front wing. Uh, with Gibson, front wing and I guess brakes again, actually. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We've got a decent amount of money, so let's build some parts. So, front wing and brakes. Let's do it. Uh, reliability. And then, all about performance. Um, we would like potentially like another specialist at some point. Like a sort of front wing specialist or a rear wing specialist. Because that would be great. That was a lot of money, but hopefully it's worth it. We're trying to make the car better. That's the goal right now. Uh, performance, performance, and brake specialist, 100%. Uh, reliability is actually very high right now. Should I work on performance? No. Screw it. Yeah, that works. Go for it. Yeah, having a good leader really helps. Like, really, really helps. Definitely worth having. But now we're going to my, my hometown of Guildford to race. I'm not sure if that's in a couple of weeks yeah so we've got a week to put on some new parts sponsorship deal has ended and that was my dog well they're all ended okay great <laughs> a new part so this is a front wing it's fairly reliable performance is good reliability is slightly worse than expected 602 though is pretty good so i'm gonna put that on gibson's car select uh, apply the part there we go not bad that's a good part that's a very good part the car's starting to look pretty good uh, this is some new brakes uh, not exactly what I wanted uh, they're very reliable but I wanted slightly better brakes that's my dog again um, let's assign that part I mean they're better but I want it better. I keep saying that. Right. Sponsors. Let's do the sponsors. Uh, up front, 2.25. And per race, around 375,000. And that's for six races. Uh, which one do I like? Sound of. Do I want more of like a long term contract with slightly less money? But a big upfront cost. I'm going for that one. Yeah, screw it. I want money now. I need money for parts. <laughs> I need money for parts. There's no two ways about it. And then these are like, the bonuses. So if I get 11th or above. Um, but look at the upfront cost. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm not going for that one actually. Yeah, done. That's a good one. Special effect is my new sponsor also we can potentially look for some new employees so this is if we get first i think i'll go i don't know this is this is tricky this is very tricky we could get a lot of influence with access sport or we can get a little bit of like an upfront cost and come second or above what's the person we have el bronco uh, what are your further above? Okay, so perhaps we will go for first, I guess. I'll go for influence. Screw it. If I feel really confident, I can get first place, which probably won't happen. It's probably a fairly pointless sponsor, so influence would be quite nice. Right, we're going to try and find. I need to find a new mechanic. If I can actually click on it. I'm going to try and search for a new one. This is 
I've tried this many times before, it's just not worked. Please be decent. Achievement unlocked. I don't know what for. I've not done anything. Ooh, okay. This is more up my street. She's very expensive, but she's very good. So medium tire wear, 8% slower, but 18% soft tire performance bonus. That's pretty good. And she's got a lot, a lot of spanners. 16 spanners. But she does cost a lot per race, which is kind of terrifying. But it's tempting. Um, we're going to check out another engineer. Uh, another mechanic, sorry. See what they're like. So a little bit cheaper. Uh, screw it. I'm going to hire this woman. She, she seems pretty good. So 13 spanners. Super soft performance, which I do like. So who would... I'm not even sure, actually. I'm not sure it's worth it. For free spanners. I mean, 18% soft tire performance would be great. But is it worth the extra 90,000 per race? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I can't believe I'm saying that. Damn. <laughs> that really sucks. I'm going to do it once more. I feel like perhaps I'm just really picky with mechanics. I don't know what it is. Just can't find the right mechanic. Uh, we're going to try and do, uh, try and do a couple of races today as well. All right, please be good. 13 spanners. Tire changes are 40% faster. Car condition drops slightly slower. Okay. 13 spanners. Again, I don't think that... I don't feel compelled to hire that individual. At all. It's odd. It's very, very odd. I don't know what to say. Uh, these are my engineers. Again just not worked out okay fine i guess we go to the grand prix um i think we are building parts aren't we are we not are we not okay that's bad let's build a new part I feel a little bit over the place today uh right so wes what do you need uh you need a front wing yeah front wing uh abby gibson you need some brakes okay front wing and brakes let's do that Let's do that right now. Build those parts right away. Reliability, performance, performance. And there we go. Hopefully those brakes come out really nice. We need some good brakes. We've got a brake specialist, so fingers crossed. And the front wing. Again, please be good. 16%. Could bend the rules. Mm, not really about that life. It's just risky. What's the point? <laughs> there's, no, there's no point. Do you want an engine specialist? We do have a rear, a rear wing specialist. Uh, let's go for brakes again. Yeah. There we go. These parts are not cheap. They are not cheap in any way. Right. Anyway, enough of this. Let's, let's race. Our car is still sixth on the grid, despite the upgrades. Our drivers are top performers. So that's good. Um, staff are still sixth as well. So, do I buy a rear wing for four million? No, I'm not gonna do it. There's no point. Resist, Scott. Resist. In a couple of weeks, you can build one on your own. On your own, it'd be fine. So just hold out. Uh, I'm gonna go for third or above. I think that's reasonable. To be honest, between that and eleven for above, it's it's pretty close. And yes, first place is very tempting. 560,000 for qualifying and the race. That is very tempting, but I don't think we're going to do it. Because this circuit is very rear wing dependent. And my rear wing is still stock and it's bad. It's a very bad rear wing. And it's raining, of course. It's Britain. What, what would you expect? So I've really got to keep an eye on the tyres. Uh, decide when to bring them in. Uh, apparently it's wet right now, like very wet. Let's send them both out. Let's try and do as many upgrades as possible. Fingers crossed. Between 1 and 10, perfect. Um, between 1 and 4, this is a risk, but I'm going to do it. Yep, yeah, perfect. <clears throat> That's how you do it, guys. Continue. 
yeah, wet tyres. So McKenna will go out first. Probably somehow, don't know how, still our best driver. Which is uh, kind of crazy. Uh, between three and eight. Seven. Damn it. <laughs> Damn you, game. Uh, between naught and nine. I've got to do it. I'm going to risk it. Five. Oh. Yes, between naught and two. Perfect. That could have gone very wrong. It actually went pretty well. Right, wet tyres, go. Go on, Gibson. We're going to fast forward this a little bit. Keep an eye on the weather. It could. Does it go down a little bit? Is that like more of like a shower? Keep an eye on that bar. If it drops to around 70%, around 60%, it changes to inters. And around like 10%, it's dry. That's going down quite a bit. McKenna's saying fastest sectors. A very good time there. Uh, McKenna's going to come in. Gibson is second place. Very, very good lap. Now we're dropping down the order. Damn. <laughs> well, it's too good to be true. But I think it's time for inters. That's what I reckon. Let's do more upgrades to the car. Make it as quick as humanly possible. Adjust the camber. We have between... Ooh. I'm doing it. I'm risking it. Oh, damn, that was close. Right, let's go for the Inters. Yeah, I reckon Inters is perfect, actually. Send out McKenna. I might let Gibson hold out for a little bit, do you reckon? Is it going to go completely dry? It, it just keeps going down, 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 more and more. I reckon send her out now on inters. I think that's, that'll work. Oh, between 5 and 20. Oh, it worked. Nice. Perfect. Between 3 and 8. I swear this breaks. If this screws up. 4. Perfect. Between 1 and 4. No, not worth it. And send you out on the inters as well. Go, go, go. Go, team. Where's McKenna? Let's follow McKenna. Purple sectors. He is... Oh, he's first. There we go, McKenna. Is it going to dry enough? Ooh, I don't know. It's still wet. still going to be wet. So I reckon Inter's still. Yes. Just trying to improve the car a little bit more. Between 1 and 10. Change the temperatures. Between 3 and 7. That's perfect. 6. I think that's pretty much it. Yes, that's a, that's a decent increase. Uh, inters again. Uh, I don't think there's going to be time for Gibson to go around again. But she's first. Wow. Because that slight delay made the track slightly less wet. That worked in her favour. Oh, McKenna's dropping down the order right now. He's really got to smash it. Purple first sector. Second sector. Purple as well. And he is first place by a total of a whole second. McKenna, the absolute boss, under pressure, delivers. He delivers again. I should have gone for that 560,000. Damn it. But yeah, 405 is still pretty good. A second. A whole second. That is obscene. Oh, it's still raining. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. Inters again. That's what it's recommending. Uh, everyone is on inters. Okay. This could be um, interesting. Uh, all pit stop times are one second faster. Uh, is super soft? Would super soft become a factor? I'm going for pit stops. Uh, super soft performance. So that is the, the red tyre. Um, I feel like... Is it me or is it sunny now? Ooh. It is sunny. Damn. So what we could do, this is a massive risk. I'm going to put Gibson on the super softs. And she's going to start on the dry tyres. It's still wet. Oh, no, it's, it's still saying it's raining though. But it says it's going to dry. Oh. I'm, like, I'm going to give it a go. Screw it. I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. You can go full on attack. Super softs. 
Uh, yep, confirm. Uh, Wes McKenna will stay on intermediates. This is a big risk, by the way. A massive risk. Massive, massive, massive risk. Let's see how this goes. I, yep, let's see how this goes. She's the only one on the dry tires. So, oh no. Raining 15, nope. Nope, she's been screwed over. I've made a mistake. I thought it said rain, like sunshine in zero minutes. As in like, it's about to be sunny. Uh, that's not the case. The rain actually increases over the next few laps and then goes down. So, yeah, great. I think I've screwed up. Oops. Dilemma. Yep, yeah, you are on the wrong tire. Okay, fine. You can pit now then. That's a screw up. That's going to severely affect her car. She's going to... She's somehow holding on though. I don't know how, but she is. Oh no, Gibson is now... Oh, I think she crashed. Oh man, she was like fine at the start and then all of a sudden she just collapsed. Uh, McKenna, go to neutral. He wants to go low. Save that fuel. Yeah, that went very wrong. Yeah. I feel sorry for Gibson right now. I'm not gonna lie. So our only hope of winning this race right now is McKenna. Yay. Right, Gibson can now go out and just push. Because I reckon we need to change the tyres at some point during this race. She's going to push on those tyres and just go ham. Absolute ham. Right, it's Gibson. Oh, McKenna, sorry. Is he doing alright? He's got a five second lead. Uh, he's burning those tyres up a little bit too quick. For my liking. I want to try and hold out. Ideally. I'm going to conserve them actually. Yeah, conserve the tyres. Conserve the tyres. He's got a six second lead. That is dropping a little bit at the moment because he is conserving those tyres. Actually, quite a bit. I'm trying to look after them. You can pit at the, the perfect moment. It starts to get a little bit dry. See there? The rain starts to deplete over the next couple of laps. Uh, how is Gibson doing? Same fastest laps, but at the moment it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I feel so bad. That was such a bad call. It was so misleading. So misleading. Yeah, it's getting really dry now. So, I'm going to bring in Gibson. How many laps do we have left? So we have seven laps left. So I reckon that's the super softs. Yeah. Good call. Don't fix the car. She's going to come in first. She's coming in. I think she's going to be one of the first to pit. Uh, McKenna's got to come in right now. Uh, again, I'll go for... Mm, super softs. Yep. Do it. Manage those tyres. Like, don't push those tyres too much. Right, here we go. Gibson is in. I'm going to let her push on those tyres for a little bit. Try and get some that, that margin, that, that gap down. McKenna is back out in second place. No, he's lost the lead. He's lost the lead. Damn it. They're going first pitted a little bit sooner. The lap before was the perfect lap. The lap Gibson pitted on, basically. So I pitted a little bit late. Oh, that really does suck. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That sucks. Right, you're going to tack on your tyres for a little bit. And go. Absolutely fly. Absolutely flying. Uh, Gibson is now in 19th place. She's doing a good job. Keep an eye on McKenna. Gotta be careful of those tyres. Can you get that gap down? The gap is going down, but it's got a good lead. A very, very good lead. And that is a... That is a worry. That is a big worry. Six laps to go, though. The race is not over. Give it time. Is it going to rain anymore? It looks like it might actually rain. It's going to start raining again. But only a slight shower. As far as I can tell. Yeah, a few uh, 
bad calls. I mean, pretty good with the old uh, tactics, but not uh, not in this race. I mean, if we come second, that's still pretty good, but I'm still disappointed in myself. <laughs> that's all I can say. All right, McKenna, where are you? The gaps down around six seconds, which really sucks. Going down a little bit, actually. Because his tyres are down to 30%. McKenna. Yeah, oh, we can push now. Right, let's push. Really push on these tyres. Same for Gibson as well. Try and get a few points, maybe. You never know. Keep an eye on that fuel. Right, go, go, go. Okay, Gibson is now struggling with fuel. That happened very quickly. Bad to medium. But right, push on those tyres. Come on, McKenna. Two second lead. He's struggling. He is struggling. Down to a second. <gasps> Fastest lap. Oh, go on, McKenna. Go on, McKenna. Yes, he's in the lead. And he's flying away with those slightly newer tyres. Oh, perfect. Uh, Gibson is in 12th place. Considering the start, that's actually pretty good. Where is she? Come on, get 11th. Last corner. Do it! Do it! Nope. Damn it. First and 12th. So, a very up and down race. A terrible, a terrible quarter start. Wanted to take a risk. Um, it said zero minutes. The sun. The sun was coming out straight away. It wasn't the case. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Okay, less than learned, I guess. But McKenna still come through. Still got us the victory. We pitted a little bit late, perhaps. Oh, man. First place, though. Look at that. McKenna, what a diamond. Absolute diamond. Uh, Gibson still got nine points. So it still goes towards the team. So that's good. We now drop down to second place in the Constructors. And drivers, we are still in first place by two points. Two points. It is tight up, up up front. It's very, very tight. McKenna's got the talent, though. If we give him the car, he can deliver. He can deliver. I guarantee that. That was a tense race. The rain. Every time the rain comes out, it's... Yeah, you, you get nervous. You get very nervous. McKenna's got... A point to spend on his stats. Uh, let's work on... Currently your potential is quite low. So I'm going to fire you. Goodbye, young driver. Why did you drop me? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it had to be done. Uh, give focus to Martin again. Yeah, fairly decent prospect indeed. That was some good income. I should have taken the risk, perhaps. Should I take the risk for the next one and go for that big bonus? I, I believe in myself. I do. Acquire those suppliers. Uh, we have a new part completed. What is this? It is the brakes. 50 points better than expected. 50? Damn, someone delivered. So do I give McKenna this part? I think I might. I feel really bad, but if we swap the current parts, and at least he's got something slightly better. There you go. Because McKenna's our leading car. He's going for the championship. So that's that's why we've done that. All right. We should have another part. Yes, we do. It's always good to keep pushing these parts. We need to. Front wing. 40 better than expected 9% better than expected again uh, it's got to be McKenna it's got to be done job done that car's looking pretty sweet so the brakes and the front wing are currently third suspension is 11th and the rear wing is 19th <laughs> that is um ah whoops but now we're fourth on the grid fourth that's how we do it. McKenna has a point. Uh, I will put that on. Um, 
consistency. Don't know. Let's go for cornering. Yeah, increase increase the cornering speed. Well done, McKenna. Good job. All right, so we should build some more parts. Yes, we should. We need a new suspension. So reliability, performance, performance. Hell yes. And yeah, brake. I know it sounds weird going for brakes, but it just seems to help us out a little bit. It's a good. She's a, she's a good leader. Again, I'm gonna risk this. It sounds stupid doing it now, but we really don't want a new engineer. So that's the new engineer we just found. Let's fill this slot. See who we find. Please be someone good. Please. Uh, reliability 16. Uh, good with the rear wing, which is uh, interesting. Pretty good. Might be tempting. I don't know who I'd. Re I don't know. Who would I replace? I feel like I'm really picky. Perhaps I've got to wait to the next category to get that that really good next engineer. Uh, right. So who would I? If I was going to hire you, who would I replace? So you're 16. You're pretty similar. Slightly better, I'd say. Not dramatically, though. And a lot more expensive. Okay, we go for that slight improvement. So, better race day performance, better leadership. Yeah, it's a slight improvement. Not much, though. But I think it's worth, worth doing. There we go. We have a new engineer. Uh, righty then. We're going to check out the cars again. Where's McKenna? What is your weakness? Suspension, I've just done that. Uh, Gibson, I would say the brakes. Brakes are the cheapest thing to do, so I'm fine with that. Brakes. Reliability. That's our new engineer. Performance and performance. And of course, our brake specialist. Please be good. Please. I'm not asking for much. <laughs> so this should be hopefully ready for the next Grand Prix. That's what we hope. Oh, our staff are down to eighth. What? Why is that? That kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I was tempted to hire... I don't know, man. It's tricky, isn't it? It's really tricky to find an amazing mechanic. It's very tricky. I'm going to try and do this again. This is such a waste of influence, but... If we find the right mechanic it'd be great it'd be amazing 14 uh fuel burns five percent slower soft tire wear 18 percent slower interesting but does cost a lot per race uh i'm gonna reject you i'm gonna reject you so who would i get rid of to say we hire Dickinson, um, who do we replace? So you got 13 spanners, we cost a lot less. The tire wear would be really good on the slow tire, on the soft tire, sorry. It's not like popping out to me and going, yes, Scott, you must get this mechanic. It just doesn't do that right now, which really sucks. It's just not happening. Uh, let's jump to the next week. Uh, oh, invitational event. Uh, do we have to do this? <laughs> I feel like I'm so focused on our current championship. I guess I have to do it. I mean, it'd be, it'd be some good prize money. So, yeah. Perhaps we should go for the the full 3.5 million. I would I would like that. So these are hybrids around Monaco. So we got to... Hopefully, we get good drivers. Because I believe that everyone has exactly the same car. Got to call the strategy to perfection and we will see what happens start qualifying all right so you got 11 spanners i've got to go for not 15 11 jesus all right we've got a tiny little benefit there uh, no changes and i'll send you out on the hyper soft tire hyper soft jesus that's a quick tire Barely gonna have um, any longevity, but it's probably good to 
do. We'll send out Mr. John. Uh, let's take a risk here. Between 3 and 20, but 28% car setup bonus. But most likely this will not work. It does work. Wow. That was a risk. Uh, between 0 and 5. Screw it. Yes. The risk was worth it. Right, let's head out on the hypersubs. Well, I'm going to send them around. Hopefully, they can deliver. Hopefully. We will see. Not the best starts. On the outlap, he's getting a overtaken. That doesn't fill me with much confidence. No water on the track. It's a nice, sunny Monaco day. Oh, John just popped up into first place. But only a few cars are out, so... In lap, do they have enough time to do another lap? Yes, they do. John is still first, just about. Let's try and improve this car a little bit more. Between 2 and 10. 8, really? Oh, to wait all my parts. Damn you, game. Uh, I'm risking this. Between 1 and 4. Yes, 1. Between 0 and 2. So we've got a slight little bonus there. Pretty, pretty good job. I'm going to, yeah. Just send her out. See how she does. Come on, John. Got to stay in first place. Between 2 and 17 again. Yes, 3? Really? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, between 3 and 8. Oh, God. 6. Okay. We're out. We're done. <laughs> we are done. Send you out on the Hypersofts. See what happens. It's got a little bit of traffic. We're currently first and third. Not bad. Not bad. We'll probably do this race and then an actual proper championship race as well. I'm going to do this like massive like in fast, in fast mode basically. Fast forward mode. Get it done. Purple sector. She did not improve on her time. Uh, John is now second by half a second. What? How did that happen? Ah. Uh, and there's no time to send him out again, so... Yeah. Waiting for them to finish. Oh no, John's dropping down. Third. Third place, please. Third, okay. It's not too bad. Obviously, I hoped for slightly better. If we just had a little bit more car performance... I mean, it's half a second, actually. So, that's a pretty big margin. Right, it is race day. Uh, we're probably going to try and uh, split the strategy, I reckon. I reckon so, probably. Yeah. So, that's 22 laps. I'm going to go for... Burn the fuel at a slow rate. Yeah, burn the fuel at a slow rate. Uh, we're going to go for different strategies here. Justin, uh, you're going to start on the super softs. You're still a good tyre, but you're going to go longer into the race. Which I will confirm. And you can be quite aggressive at the start. She's very aggressive. I'm going to keep John, Max John, what a name on the hypersofts so pray for me <laughs> this could go very wrong uh is there fuel in I didn't, I didn't check damn it ers is in this uh okay so energy recovery system builds charge during the race charge is used for power and hybrid boost you can tell your driver to manage the ers themselves from the preference menu uh, the power mode burns through a charge quickly. Gives a large boost to the, the car's speed. Okay, interesting. So where do we manage that? I... Is that the fuel? I guess that's how, how it works. Is that right? No, it's still fuel. So where's the ERS? I can't see it. I don't know. <laughs> John's doing third though. Justin has gone down to 8th, annoyingly. She has lost a place, but she's on the harder compound. 
Come on, John. Why is Hall so quick? How's Hall already got a three second lead? How's that even remotely possible? That sucks. That really sucks. So if I, without realizing, if I go to, go to preferences, automate ERS is currently off. But I don't see anywhere to like improve the boost. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So we can now we can use the boost. Boost. I'm using the boost right now. Does that recharge over the lap or? In, oh, John's just gone strapped into first. What the hell? Damn! Well done, John. Very good. I know what that does. What does that do? I think I know what it does. I'm, I've got no idea. So does that go back up? Yeah, it goes back up. So if John can just hold on to that, that position. Come on, John. I believe in you. It's going to be a hard race to win. Very, 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 very hard. Very tricky indeed. Hall is all over the back of us. It's terrifying. But that, does that charge it up? No, it doesn't. I don't know what it does. Oh, John's gone down second. Damn it! I'll do a quick little boost. Go on. Boost, 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 boost. Up into first again. That boost is incredibly good. Very, very good. So, Justin is the, the first person on the slightly harder compound, or the hardest compound, actually. So she's still in this race, I reckon. Especially if something happens, like the rain comes, or something happens. Come on, John. Please. I'm going to fast forward this. As much as I want to pay attention to the uh, ERS, you can use your power for a bit. Try to get past some, uh, some oh, that that completed so quickly, <laughs> and she didn't really make up any places. John just went down to second. Damn it! Do it, ERS. Get back into first. I might have to use that on the very, very last lap. Uh, does John need to pit? How's the weather looking? It looks like it's going to be sunny the whole race. Does he go around for one more lap or? don't know. Tires are looking a little bit, a bit shabby. I think it's the right way. I'm going to wait for the, the next lap. Right, now we're going to pit. He's asking for tires, yeah. Pulls it and pit. So, can you go to the end? Yes, you can. If you jump onto the super softs right now, he can go to the end of the race. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, is fuel good? You can't refuel. Okay, and pit. Alright, John. It's your time to shine, my friend. It is your time to shine. Fly, fly, fly. Right, straight back into neutral. I managed these tyres to the end. How is Justin in 7th still? I don't quite get that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't quite get that. Uh, Johnny's in 15th, up to 14th, up to 13th, down to all over the place. We have new tyres. As long as he manages those tyres to the end, it's a long way to go actually, isn't it? You might have to conserve those, because they're gonna run out of juice very, very soon. Oh, the car looks damaged. We've seen that. Ooh, that is a worry. Oh, man, this is a hard race to manage right now. There's so much going on. Hall is definitely in first place. Uh, Gibson. Oh, Gibson, sorry. Justin. Justin. Can now tack on those tyres. And she's going to pit, I reckon, on this lap. She's going to absolutely fly. Uh, you can change onto the Ultra Softs. Yep. Do that. You're good to go. Right, push the ERS. Go, 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 go. Does that wreck the car, by the way? Quite sure how that works. Waste some of that fuel. Just conserve the tyres. 
see if this is gonna work. Has Justine made up any places? Uh, I can confirm. No. <laughs> like, a few people out the pit still. But, yeah, not particularly that great. Down to neutral. We can burn some of that fuel. Push that ERS to the max. This is a long race. This is really hard to manage. John is... Man, Paul has about a second lead right now. And there's a few guys in front. But as long as John looks after those tyres, which he is... One second. Justine's in front. I just realised. Where did that happen? Damn! Okay then. This could get interesting. This could get a little bit... A little bit juicy. Can we go for the lead? That's the question right now. That is the question. Oh, keep going, keep going. Come on. We can do this. I believe. I believe. What's wrong? I guess in the car, yeah, the car looks a little bit shaky. Not going to lie. But we're conserving. We're conserving. It's fine. Justine. Manage that fuel. Manage the tyres. Get this car home. She's in first place. And she's flying. She's on better tyres. I don't know how she's in first place. She did not qualify the best. But I changed the strategy. And it seems to have worked. Started on a slightly harder compound. Paul is uh, all over her though. All over her. Uh, it looks like John might be struggling a little bit right now. Which is kind of annoying. He can push on those tyres a little bit more. Process Y actually. He's... he's yeah, he's been a little bit too safe on those tyres. It's time to attack. As long as Justine stays in first, I don't need to push those tyres. Just got to just conserve the tyres. It'll be fine. Uh, John, ERS, go for it. Absolutely vomit. Fly it, there we go. Straight to third. That ERS is unreal. Very, very good. Right, we are now first and second. <laughs> Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Look how, look how quick that ERS is. The gap just increases rapid fire mode. Incredible. We've still got fuel left. Um, we are. We have roughly like a six second lead. I'm happy with this. I'm very chuffed. I think that might be another invitational win. Yep. I am not even kidding right now. Go on, John. Have a little push. <laughs> Got the cars home. First and second. I'm not even joking. I don't know how that happened. A really good strategy. Managed the ERS pretty well, apparently, as well. It all came together. And we pulled the competition. Yes. Hall was a challenge though. Hall was all over me like a rash. was not good. All right. Uh, yep, yeah, we got the money. 3.9 million dollars and my battery is low. Lovely. I tried this last race nice and quick. So we do the race and that's it. I'm not gonna make any new parts or anything like that. Just gonna focus on the race. See what happens. It's probably another very, very long episode, but I think it suits this game uh, pretty well. Oh damn. That's some money. That is some money. Actually, we could make a park, couldn't we? we? We probably should. Sponsor deal has ended. New brakes. Oh, yeah. That is some good brakes as well. <laughs> right, we're going to switch these. Okay, McKenna is my main... Is my main driver, so... Looks like Gibson might be a little bit jealous. Whoops. Uh, right, build a part. I'm going to build... Uh, what do we need? Do we do we even need anything right now? Front wing's pretty good. Front wing. Yeah, front wing. Front wing it is. So, reliability, uh, performance, and performance. Yes. Done. Right, now it's time for the race. It is time. The pressure is on because this is a tight championship. We're going to Belgium. 
I believe we have raced here before. Uh, I would like a little bit of money, please. Thank you. Should we now buy a part? Very tempted. Very tempted. So, 600,000 per race. Or 2 million up front. We're going to go for... I think the longevity of this one, five race six, six 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 hundred thousand is pretty good. That's a decent sponsor deal. There we go. We're now in the positive per race. Not bad going. Uh, yeah, should we buy a part? I keep keep coming over to have a look, and then I'm like, no, I won't. I won't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a rear wing. Yeah, I'm doing it. I just bought a rear wing. Can I now equip this? Let me look at the rear wings. This is shocking. This is so much better. Reliability is bad. It's very bad, but I think it's worth the risk at the moment anyway. There we go. A new part. Let's begin the race weekend. I reckon McKenna easily now has the best car, so he's going to hopefully dominate. I'm going to take a risk here. I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Taking a risk. There's a big risk. It seems to go either way. We either dominate, we get the, the victory, or it goes heavily wrong. Belgium is also known for its its rain. So that could happen. It's a little bit cloudy at the moment, actually. Now, if we get first, that is a good bonus, isn't it? That's a very good bonus. Uh, between 3 and 15, 5. Perfect. Between 1 and 10, a big risk. Two. Nice. Between three and eight. Oh! Yeah, I'm not doing any more. <laughs> uh, the Ultra Softs. Where's McKenna? Go out there and smash it. Do it. Gibson, you've got a lot to prove right now. You need to step up. You've got a decent car now. There's no excuses. You've got to step up. No, I'm not going to take the risk. Don't take the risk. It worked out in the end. It's all good. All right, ready to go. Ultra softs, go. And fast forward. Hopefully, Wes McKenna can impress me. Yeah, this looks like Spa. Like, really badly. I love it. I love it. Apparently, the front wing is a big factor. And we have a pretty good front wing, so that's good. First sector was green. Purple from Gibson. Green from McKenna. Purple again from Gibson. McKenna is in first place. First and second. What more could a principal ask for? You can ask for any more. It's perfect. It's going to be, I believe, dry for the rest of the qualifying. Between 0 to 9. 2. Perfect. Between 3 and 8. Come on. That's good, that's good. Uh, between 0 and 2. This car's looking pretty good. So I'll take the risk here, so I keep hitting my mic. Um, between 1 and 10. Ah, oh, I screwed up. Shit. I went too far. I was getting too cocky. This could be Gibson to get. If Gibson has a good setup, it's a risk this one. 7. Good, that's a good increase. Oh, ho, ho, ho. between two and ten, uh, two, the lowest possible, not and two, uh, three and five. Yep, yeah, why not? I think that's it. Yep, yeah, ready to go. That's almost maxed out. Gibson could get this. I mean, I'm fine. Either way, even fine. I'm fine. But she's probably a little bit angry at the moment. She's a little bit jealous about the car parts. I get that. Her time will come. It's just that McKenna is leading the championship. Purple sector. McKenna was slower in both his first sectors. Gibson is surely just taking the lead. Yes, she has. Can we keep pole position for the Grand Prix tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. We got a good lead. Almost half a second. That worked out really well. I mean, McKenna could slot into first place during the race. 
And that means more points between him and his uh, main competition. I believe you can do team orders, which I might have to think about. Depends on the situation. It, yeah. I can't imagine Gibson taking that very well. But McKenna is my main leader right now. He's going for the championship. Got 560,000 already from qualifying. Both, both, both drivers on the front of the grid. Hell yes. Uh, again, I'm sure change it up a little bit. I could have Gibson flying away in the lead. Flying away. Slip mechanical bonus, of course. Uh, so she's got a super, super tire, super soft tire performance. So we could do that. Super soft. She could do that. She's got a big performance on it. So tempting. Also the same with McKenna as well. Screw it. It's exactly the same. I'm matching the setups. I'm not sure if this is wise or not. But they have mechanical bonuses based off that tyre. So I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Uh, Alright, let's go for attack. Attack. I forgot to do this. Annoyingly. Attack. Attack. Go. Five lights. And the race in Belgium begins. We are first and second. We are doing a Mercedes. The okay, can just hold them back a little bit. That'll be smashing. Oh, they're fighting for the lead. McKenna's in first place. Damn. This is a, a, a bit of a crazy fight. We're going to turn them both down to neutral. So, yeah, I believe we can do team orders. That might happen during this race. It may happen. It may happen. How's the lead? We've got like a second lead between us and third place. That's pretty good. Uh, this is all skin. Oh, damn it. How did you lose second place, McKenna? Ugh. Okay, fine. Just keep going for now. Didn't quite expect that. Come on, McKenna. Like, he seems to be struggling. He started off really well. Now he's struggling. Come on, man. Get back into this race. Remember, we need to get first place to get the full bonus. Which I know is very scary. See how close this race is right now. Very, very close. How are the tyres? Not too bad. They're going to have to pit a little bit sooner. Actually, very soon, actually. Very soon. This is where McKenna might come back into it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yep, we're now first and second again. Uh, when do they pit? Ooh. Good question. I don't know when to pit them. Does McKenna pit now? Yeah, I reckon he pits now. So you want to go on to Supersofts again? Yep. That's allowed. So why not? Looks like it's going to be a little bit cloudy in a second, but no sign of any rain. So that's good. And keep going. So yeah, McKenna's going to pit now. And he can push on those tyres for a little bit. And then Gibson gonna fly past the pit lane and she is gonna absolutely max this car out try and keep that first place and she's gonna pit for super softs again go 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 where is McKenna in 10th place oh he's struggling will he get that second place back I don't know I don't know also we can't really do team orders if they're both close. If they're obviously separated, it's just pointless. If he's in third place, we can't do that. Right, Gibson is in first place still. Yep. She got a pretty good lead. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but Rogers has to hit like right now. So, actually, the next lap, maybe. I hope. Condition of the car is an issue. Uh, let's go down to conserve to make sure that fuel's fine. Why is McKenna struggling so much? Come on, McKenna. Gibson's got nice, fresh tyres. Can McKenna get that that second place? Don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be tight. 
couple more laps to go. Come on, McKenna! You can do it! You can probably now push right now. I mean, the condition of the car is bad. I, I get that. But he needs as many points as possible. Or we'll gives him down to 5%. Okay, just conserve the engine. Just get the car home. Come on. Oh, McKenna's in second place. I don't think we have enough of a margin to do team orders, so that's not going to happen. We came first and second. Yes, I know that's how it started, but still. <laughs> I'm still happy with that. McKenna was struggling during that race. He was struggling for pace. Probably because he's on a slightly slower tyre, but wow. Wow. So we got a total of like over a thousand, one point one thousand dollars in bonuses, which is absolutely incredible. I love that. First and second. Yes. That should pass. Well out in the lead in terms of the constructors and McKenna. Oh Gibson is starting to look a little bit close. I didn't realise it was that close. Ooh. Ooh. Wants new contracts. Driver wants higher wage. Uh, driver had a bad post-race interview. Oh. Does he want a new contract then? I can understand why you probably would want one. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, put all the improvement points straight into Martin again. I think she has... He has, sorry. The best possibility to be our driver in the future. Do we offer McKenna a new contract? I guess we have to. Next year's car development is now unlocked. So we can put as much money into it as we want. Uh, let's go for... I think the chassis is probably the best thing to go with, I think. Yeah. I like that. Let's just put a little bit of money into it. So, I want to be a challenger. So that would cost me around 2 million. I'm up for that. That's, that's fine by me. That's a lot of money though. That's being put all into next year's car. I mean, if the parts are good enough, then we'd have to do as many upgrades. So, yeah, didn't think of that, did you? Yeah. Got a new part. Don't know what this is. Suspension. It doesn't look that great. It doesn't look that great at all. Uh, I mean, it's better. McKenna's now got a decent suspension, but it's not. I, I want, yeah, I wanted more. I wanted more from my engineers, but there we go. Well, at least they're all green parts now. Look at those brakes. They are unreal. Hence, they're first. First in the championship. The best brakes you can possibly get. Another part done. Ooh, that's decent. Ooh. That is very nice. Uh, I'm gonna put that, ooh, on McKenna's car. Yep, screw it. I don't care what you say. I still think that's pretty good. There we go. She's got a new front wing and so is McKenna. Oh, 751. That's so good. That's so good. Right, I think that will conclude this episode. I think. That was pretty eventful. Um, actually, what we will do, uh, if we go to points, driver, there we go. Uh, let's put points into you. Uh, your consistency, I would like that to improve. Look how she can go very, very high. She has so much potential. Unreal. Yeah, consistency. Lap after lap, getting a similar sort of lap time. We like that. So her car is eighth. His car is first. I do feel a bit bad, but yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, considering she's meant to be our, our first driver, number one, I, I feel like that, it's, it's not great, is it? It's really not great. So you want a new contract, apparently. That's what I've heard. And we are far off. How much does he want? Uh, equal, number two. I'm going to try making number two. Apparently it's less important anyway. Uh, he wants short deal. 
Let's, what's he currently on? 155. Let's increase that a little bit. And see if that works. He wants a short contract. Let's see where we are. Oh, we are way off. We are massively off. Ah. Okay. How much do you want? <laughs> he must want a lot of money. Okay, fine. I want to keep him, so... That's a lot of money. Jesus. That's a massive increase. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. No deal. We were so close. I just put the money down a little bit there. And I think that he's not happy. So I think he's still got a contract for the rest of the season. If he decides to leave, he leaves. I can't really do much about it. Damn. I'm a little bit guided. I am gutted. I am a little bit gutted. I'm not going to lie. Do we switch up the cars here? Do we uh, switch some of these parts around? Ooh, ooh, controversial. I'm sorry, but you're being a dick, so. Also gonna switch the brakes. Oh, oh, what has he done? What has he done? There we go. Oh, McKenna, I'm sorry. You should have signed that contract. What can I say? Um, how's the HQ upgrade going? I feel really mean, but McKenna should have signed it. So uh, we have two more races to go. Okay, that's a little that's a little way off yet. Uh, just to try and keep McKenna happy, if we can buy a rear wing, I will. That's not. Uh, that's pretty good. I can steal it apparently. For 28 influence. Uh, I feel a bit bad. Steering apart does not seem very nice, does it? Oh, god damn it. Okay, fine. Don't know how that works. How do you steal apart of somebody? So that'll be put on McKenna's car. So he's now got a better rear wing. There we go. That'll keep him happy. Actually, screw it. I'm going to put you and then swap. See if that works. There we go. Gibson has the rear wing. 97% reliability. Damn. That is reliable. That is very reliable. So a quick check of the cars again. So he's now got a slightly bad rear wing. It's not too bad to be honest. And Gibson's got the slightly better one. But she, oh, the suspension actually is quite weak. Perhaps we can make a new suspension. Let's do that. Suspension does seem to be the hardest thing to uh, perfect. Seems really tricky. Performance, performance. Uh, let's go for... I'm going to try something different. Uh, I'm going to go for engine specialist. See if that works. Actually, don't know. No, we'll do it. Give it a go. We spent a lot of money. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A lot happened. We are leading the championship, which I'm very happy about. I'll see you guys soon, and bye-bye.